I am rather cold, so I think some speed walking will happen. across the shores. Oh, right, tell us where we are today. Karskagaviti, uh, we're out on the ledge. Um, the lighthouse itself is over there. That's, that's it. A, that's the lighthouse of Karskagaviti. Viti means lighthouse. It's a nice time. And the blue lagoon is somewhere over behind all of that. Yeah. Yeah. Nice weather, not very cold, well, at least to some of us, but yeah. So I found something that is even more determined and stubborn than me. Look what's surviving on the edge here. Fully exposed to all that cold wind and rain. It's beautiful. And look at its view. I found a way to warm up. <laughs> so we're going off road and heading towards that. <laughs> uh, kind of looks like an exploding volcano. Our own little blue lagoon in the background. I feel like it might be quite warm over there. <laughs> it's a bit worrying that that looks like there's a bridge there. It's named Gunnukver and it's named after the ghost of Gunna who was living here and she was, uh, uh, what do you call it, when you're renting from a landlord. Yeah, she was renting, she was a tenant. Yeah, yeah tenant. And the tenant uh, took her pot for, uh, for a rent and she went mad. She would drink uh, sanctified water and die. And when they were carrying her body to the grave, they found that the casket was suddenly lighter. They got scared, but when they were putting the casket into the ground, they heard, don't bury deep because I won't be here for long. <laughs> and the next day, the landlord was found dead and people went mad all over the area. And a few days later, his wife died. And they went, went to the priest and asked him and he gave him, uh, what do you call it? A ball of wool? A ball of wool, yeah. A ball of wool, and the ball of wool, uh, they t told the man to give the ball of wool to Gunnar's ghost, and she would follow it. And they did, and they, she ran all the way to the geyser, and then we ran into the geyser. And still today, you can hear her moans as he's trying to catch the ball of wool. <laughs> Sunday. Oh, with a geezer. <laughs> Is it focused? I think so, yeah. It's so much taller than me. There we go. So now we're gonna go back into Reykjavik, try and find a nice coffee shop that is open on a Sunday. On uh, a holy Sunday. Oh, on a holy Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Yes, because it is a holiday tomorrow as well. Yeah. Um, get warmed up. And then Ingemar is going to make a curry tonight. Yes! 